Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics. Today we have really interesting exponential equation 2 to the x plus x equal to 8. This is a question from entrance examination, so you can easily right now, you can easily check your, your school knowledge, you can easily check your algebra skill, you can easily pause the video and write your suggestion, write your solution down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just few minutes, so it will be really interesting for us. So let's try to solve it. We need to find our x. We have 2 to the x plus x equal to 8 and we need to find our x. First of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 2 to the x equal to 8 minus x. Okay, right now change position a little bit because we prefer this expression on the left side. As a result, we have 8 minus x. Okay, we have 8 minus x equal to 2 to the power x. So we change nothing. We can easily write it on left side, on right side. It doesn't matter. Right now, let's try to group our variables, our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. We have 2 to the power x. So when we divide both side by 2 to the power x, we can easily split it by variables on the left side and constant on the right side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have 8 minus x. We divide by 2 to the power x. So we divide the thing on the left side and we divide our right side. So we have 2 to the x, we divide by, by 2 to the x. And as I told before, we can easily cancel this 2 to the power, 2 to the power x, we can easily cancel right now. So we, as a result, we have only one on our right side. On the left side, we have our 2 to the power x in our denominator. So I hope you know a really great property when we have, for example, 1 divided by 8 to the power b, when we bring it from our denominator to numerator, we have a to the power minus b. So we need to put minus right here. As a result, we have, when we apply this property right here, we have 8 minus x inside parentheses times 2 to the power minus x equal to 1. As I told before, we split it by variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. So, really great. But the final thing, let's change right here position. So, not 8 minus x, but minus x plus 8. Okay, it changed nothing, but in the same way, it helps us a lot. We have, as a result, we have right here minus x plus 8, yeah, times 2 to the power minus x equal to equal to 1. Right now we need to know a really great function called this function is called by Lambert W function. So for those who don't understand, who don't know about this function, I try to explain with this function in a simpler words. For example, imagine we have expression like a times e to the power a. When we apply Lambert W function from this expression, we have only our a on the right side. So if you don't understand this general case, for example, imagine we have like um, 8 times e to the power 8. When we apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result we have a right here, but in our case a is equal to 8, so we have as a result our 8 on the right side. So it simplifies us a lot, it helps us a lot to simplify our expression, but a is whatever you want expression, doesn't matter, it can be like a constant, it can be like a big and giant expression, yes, so doesn't matter about this a, uh, this like in our case a is equal to 8. But in our case, in the same way, it simplifies us a lot. So right now, let's try to create expression which is able to apply Lambert W function right here. So in our case, we don't have like A right here, A right here, we don't have E, yes, so we don't have nothing about this Lambert W function. But right now, let's try to think a little bit how can we create this type of expression. First of all, I suggest you to multiply both sides by 2 to the power 8. When we multiply both sides by 2 to the power 8, it will be a really interesting case for us. Okay, let's do this. So we have minus x plus 8, yeah, times 2 to the power 8, but in the same way, let's write, for example, this 2 to the power minus x, and in the third position, let's write this 2 to the power 8, and we, so we multiply our left side by 2 to the power 8, and we're going to multiply our right side, so we have equal to 1 times 2 to the power 8. Okay, we just multiplied both sides to the power two to the power eight, it changed nothing. But in the same way, we have two, we have two, so we have same base and different powers, but moreover, we have multiplication. So saying in other words, this is a really great power rule, so we can write it as two to the power minus x plus eight. Okay, let's do this right now. So we have right here minus x plus eight, yeah, times two to the power minus x plus eight, two to the power minus x plus eight equal to 1 times 2 to the power 8 equal to 2 to the power to the power 8. And right now, if you look closely, we have a really great expression. We have the same expression right here. We have minus x plus 8 and the same expression right here, minus x plus 8. So a lot of students do this common mistake. They apply Lambert W function. But if you look closely, for applying Lambert W function, we need to have e 
in our case we have two so this is completely different expression this expression is not good expression to apply lambda w function right here so we need to create e but how can we create this e instead of this two really easy let's apply for example instead of this two let's write e to the power of nature log two okay and this is equal to two so instead of this two right here we can apply this e to the power nature log 2, which is absolutely the same thing, but we will have we will have e. So let's do this right now. Instead of this 2, we're going to write this e to the power nature log 2. We have minus x plus 8, okay, times, instead of this 2, we're going to write this one, e to the power nature log 2, but we need to raise this to the power minus x plus 8, okay, minus x plus 8 equal to 2 to the power, 2 to the power 8 okay really great right now really interesting property right here because in this case we have something like a to the power x raised to the power y this is equal to a to the power x times x times y so we need to multiply this natural log 2 times this minus x plus 8. let's do this right now so we have minus x plus 8 times e to the power minus x plus 8 let's write it first minus x plus 8 and times nature log 2, nature log 2, equal to 2 to the power 8. And right now, if you look closely, we have e, but we have a completely different expression. We have minus x plus 8, and we need to have the same minus x plus 8 right here, but we have more, more, we have nature log 2, yeah? So in our case, we need to multiply both sides by nature log 2. When we multiply both sides by nature log 2, we will have right here minus x plus 8 times nature log 2, which will be like the same thing as right here. So we're going to multiply times nature log nature log 2. What we have as a result? We have minus x minus x plus 8 times nature log 2, yeah, times e to the power minus x plus 8, right here we have plus, yeah, and times nature log nature log 2 equal to 2 to the power 8 times nature log 2. And right now, really interesting moment minus x plus 8 times nature log 2. For example, in our minds, let's call this expression as a. We have e, really great, and we have a power of e, which is absolutely the same thing. We have minus x plus 8 times nature log 2, which is absolutely the same as right here. So this is our a. And if you go back right here, lambda w function of a times e to the power a equal to equal to a. So we can easily apply lambda w function. We have all the things that we really need. We have e, we have absolutely the same expression. So we can apply lambda w function. Let's do this right now. So we have lambda w function on our left side. We have minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 times e to the power minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 and we're going to apply lambda w function on the right side it's really important don't forget about the right side because we need to apply it on both sides lambda w function of 2 to the power 8 times nature log nature log 2 really great and as i told before minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 for example this is our a minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 this is also our a but lambda w function of a times e to the power a equal to equal to a so on the left side we will have only minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 times nature log 2 on the right side we will have this one don't be scared about this expression. This is a constant 2 to the 8. This is a constant. Nature log 2 is a constant. And lambda w function of a constant. This is a constant. So don't be scared about our right side. So 2 to the power 8 times nature log, nature log 2. Really great. So this is our final expression. But we need to find our x. But it's not that hard as we solved it before. This is like really easy to divide both sides by nature log 2. When we divide both sides by nature log 2, we can easily cancel this one from, from our left side. So on the right side, we will have only minus x plus 8 equal to, from here we cancel it, and as a result, it appears right here in our denominator. So we have lambda w function of 2 to the power 8 times nature log 2, and we divide all of the thing by nature log, nature log 2. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. The final thing, we need to bring this 8 from our from our left side to right side, or in a reverse way, we can easily bring this x from our left side to right side. As a result, we have x equal to our final answer looks like that. Yeah, we have x equal to we have 8 right here, 8 minus lambda w function of 2 to the 8. It looks like 256. Yeah, 256 times nature log 2, and we divide by nature log 2. 
don't be scared about this expression this is a constant so don't be scared about it and it looks like this is our final answer to this question and right now maybe a lot of students are interested in approximately answers to x approximately equal to 2.468 maybe for those who who interested in approximately answer this is our approximately answer this is our answer if you write in your exam because you don't know about each of these values of lambda w function so this is your final answer on your exam this is your approximate answer maybe someone interested what is it x how can we find this x this is our approximately answer this is our answer on your exam right now we can see a plot to this challenge because a lot of students like prefer to see um, a geometric perspective to this question it helps uh, for a lot of students it helps a lot because a lot of students inter are interested in in a geometric perspective because um, some students like like this geometric perspective and like to see this point of intersection algebraically this is my solution you can also pause the video you can also solve this question with, with me once more and you i hope everything will be great because this is looks like a um, hard it looks like easy question in the beginning what do we have in the beginning we have 2 to the x plus x equal to 8 it's not that hard for example we don't have square root sine cosine but in the same way we need to know a lot of a lot of power rules and we need to apply lambda w function but as you can see we need to prepare our expression for applying lambda w function which is not that easy but i hope you understand my explanation and i hope you understand this solution thank you for your time thank you for your support i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learned something new this is my main goal on my youtube channel i try to find really interesting question and i try to share with you with, with this uh, explanation and i hope you will enjoy it so thank you for your time thank you for your support thank you everyone for to leave for leaving uh, kind comments for leaving like or dislike doesn't matter i really appreciate you your respond what do you think about this type of question what do you want to see in my youtube channel i really appreciate it if you write into the comment section and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and low mess